Hey y'all, we got a project today that we're doing that uh, many people may be interested in and find very helpful. We are going to make insect repellent out of a plant that grows like a weed around where we live. And the plant is called beautyberry and we have it everywhere. The leaves, the oil in the leaves are an insect deterrent. So simply what we're going to do is collect leaves. We're going to put them in a jar. We're going to cover the collected leaves with alcohol. And we're going to let it sit for about four days until the alcohol removes the oil from the leaves. Then we simply uh, strain it and then we can add essential oils of a smell that we like to it and uh, use it as a spray to keep the bugs off of us. That's it in a nutshell. So let's get started. So here's a closer look at the beautyberry plant. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and take leaves off. I'm not gonna take so much that I kill the plant and these are very hard to kill as it is but just go off the plants and take you know every other one off the stem and how many am i going to get i'm going to get enough that if i pack in a jar it'll be you know about i don't know, four or five inches tall so we'll just continue to do that till we have enough to put in our jar okay here are our collected leaves Avoid the ones that have bird crap on them. We don't need any of that. I counted them. There, here are 50 leaves. So I'm going to take these 50 leaves and put them in this jar. Wide mouth jar is easier to use. And I'm just going to shove them down in here. Some people want to say you've got to chop them up and do all kinds of stuff to them. I, I find that's unnecessary because this alcohol is going to do the work for us. It's going to remove the oil from the leaves. That's what we're after. So we're going to take our alcohol. And that has more than covered our leaves. I will say, and it may upset some people, but this isn't, this part right here, I don't believe is scientific. The point is to get the oil out of the leaves. And you should use some tongs, stick, whatever you're comfortable with. What I like to do is mash everything down to get it covered well. That's what it's looking like. Now, I see that I've, I probably could put some more leaves in here. So remember, I collected 50, and I'm looking at what I've done. If you want to, grab some more leaves. Fill it on up to where it just is covering. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Then mash them down and cover it up. Seal it up. And what I like to do is just put them in a cabinet. I put them in a, a dark cabinet, and I leave it in there for about four days. Okay, I've added 40 more leaves to this jar to compensate for the amount of alcohol I put in there. I've got it and pack them down. And just kind of shake it, make sure everything's settled. And you've got good coverage. I shake it up, open it back up, and pack back down all the pieces that have loosened up because you just want as much being covered as possible now that you've done that there's what it looks like now we just go put it in the cabinet and see you in four days all right it's been 
four days. And uh, in that time, our beauty berries are starting to bloom. They'll be getting those big old magenta berries on them for long. But there's our concoction right there. Now all we're gonna do, get this back down so we can see. I'm gonna take this. pour it into this jar. Now you can mash this. You can come in and get something and squeeze it down to get the rest out. But you can see, the leaves have been extracted of their oil there almost brittle now. Now you can strain this again if you like. Use coffee filters. But I'm going to tell you something. You are not going to get rid of the color. That alcohol has extracted all of the oil from these leaves. And with that, it takes the chlorophyll. There you go. Show what it looks like. And here is one of the downsides of it. That right there. I found that it doesn't stain you. It looks like that going on. But on clothes, you need to be careful. But you'll put it on and the alcohol will evaporate and you'll feel the coating of the oil on there. Now, it's got a, a grass smell, almost like an herbal tea type smell to it. So you can always add essential oils of your choice to this to make it smell like what you want. But the stuff works. And it costs you a little time and some alcohol. All right, there's our beauty berry insect repellent. Um, all natural just using alcohol, and we use that alcohol to extract the oil from the leaves. But along with extracting the oil, it pulls out the chlorophyll. And that's why it looks like that. So when I use this stuff, I spray it in my hand, get my hands wet, and then I rub it wherever I want. Face, you know, wherever. So you're gonna wanna be aware of this color and you're not going to want to get it on any light colored clothes. Uh, I, it may or may not wash out, but I've had no trouble with it just coming off of my skin. The other thing you may want to do, because this kind of smells like when it's raw like this, it smells kind of like the plant itself. It smells like leaves. It's got that green grass smell. I usually put some essential oils that I like in here and just give it a little bit of a, of a, a pleasant scent to use. And uh, it's not that this is 
uh, intolerable, but it is nice to put something on that has a pleasing scent to it. Now, I'm aware that some people may be looking at this and going, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to be putting something on me. It's going to make me green and uh, have that to worry about. And I understand. That's why in the sister video of this, I'm going to show you how to make this very same product using a different process. It's a little more work, but uh, what we'll get from it will be clear uh, extract. So stay tuned for that. Uh, as usual, I appreciate y'all stopping by and good luck with your projects. In putting this thing together, I realized I left something out that's pretty important, especially with the possibility of a staining problem with, with this spray. It's pretty simple. If you find that it's too dark or feel like it stains you too much, just add alcohol. Put more alcohol in it, dilute it. It'll get to a point where it doesn't leave as much color. And uh, it's pretty evident. Just mix it to where you're comfortable. You're still going to get the uh, repellent properties. And uh, it should take care of everything. And you'll feel better about the spray. So anyway, that's a little bit of a solution to the problem of the coloring.